So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make one of my favorite smoothies. It's an energizing kale mango smoothie, but we're not gonna be using mango because it ran out. So we're gonna be using some leftover fruit that we had from last night. So let's get into it. So the first ingredient is kale. I love using kale because it's so nutritious. Next we have our fruit that we're gonna add. Like I said, we had this last night and the kids didn't eat it. So I didn't wanna waste it. So we're just gonna add it to our smoothie. Okay. And then the next very important thing is I want to pause because I want to show y'all this new workout outfit that I got going on today. I think it's like kind of cute, right? I feel like really cute and springy in it, so I just wanted you guys to see that. Okay, so back to the smoothie. So next we're going to add in some plain yogurt. After the yogurt, we're going to add in some ginger. Now you're supposed to peel it, but I didn't feel like it, so I'm just going to add the whole thing in with the skin on because it may give us a little bit more fiber, so I think we're good. There we go. And last but not least, we're gonna add in some coconut water. So about three fourths cup of coconut water. Okay, yeah, so let's blend it up and let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's so good, you guys. And you may see a little bit of the kale chunks that are in here, but it's okay, it's just extra nutrients. But if you don't like the chunks, you can always use spinach, it's a softer leaf, so it's gonna blend a little bit better. But I love the kale, I think it is so good. And if you want the full recipe, you can head over to my website, www.beautifuleatsandthings.com, or you can get my book, The Complete Book of Smoothies, and you have this recipe and tons more smoothie recipes in there. So I hope you enjoy it.